Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. Can I tell you how excited I am? Uh, I finally get to play with my fall products. And I had told you before that I had created, I've been so excited about this. And I have created a very, very large autumnal fall kit to play with. I don't know that I'm going to go through piece by piece because there's so much here. But I will give you a good idea of what I'm going to be playing with for the next three months, for through the seasons. And I have this I Love Fall kit from Echo Park. And I've got scraps in here, so I've played with this before. I have this from Cartabella. This came in something. I don't remember buying this. But anyway, I've got a package of ephemera. And I have this chipboard. This is what I'm super excited about. This is a mixed collection. So as I have played with these different collections from 49 and Market, I've combined colors together. So this one is in the leaves. I have still, I've played with this before. I've actually played with it last year. I still have a lot of it left. And this is... Uh, this has got bits and pieces in it from In the Leaves as well. But I was thinking that it, the paper was made something else. Nope, this says In the Leaves. Well, okay, I still have a lot, I guess, left from In the Leaves. What, let me look at this one and see what this paper is. Because I was thinking this was something else. Naturalist, yes. Okay, so I've got In the Leaves and Naturalist. I've got different components from the collections all thrown together. The colors are going to blend well <clears throat> with each other. I'm very, very happy. I'm so excited about playing with all of this. And this is going to carry me through and fulfill that need to just play with fall product. I cannot even begin to explain to you how very, very excited and happy I am to start my fall playing. I am so excited. I'm going to show this with you. I'm going to pause and I'm going to share something with you. Okay, I'm back and this is, there's a lot of glare and I apologize. And this is going to create a little bit of glare too. But this little tray... I got these off of Amazon. My friends and I were chatting about how to store these long pieces when we're working with uh, these laser cuts from 49 and Market. And I have used the, that's quite not quite long enough, dadgummit. I thought I had this a solution. But anyway, I, I just wanted something for these to lay in while I'm working with this kit. And I thought I had the perfect solution. It says it's 12 inches, but these must be longer than 12. Let's get a ruler out. I can't stand it when something doesn't work out. That drives them into bananas. So the interior of this is not 12 inches, it's the exterior, probably. Okay, so back to the drawing board. I was so excited to share this with you. Anywho, but anyway, I just, I want these torn out. I want them accessible, easily accessible because they tend to grab, you know, these little jagged edges, they just tend to grab while you're, you know, if you've got them put down inside of a paper uh, one of these holders so that is kind of what I've been thinking and I'm committed now I've got to tear these out I'm sorry I'm dragging you along with me these shorter pieces are going to work fine But since I know I'm going to be working with this, this whole uh, season, I think putting them in a plastic holder 
in this container is probably a more efficient way for me to work through the product. I love these jagged torn edges, these notebook edges. And these look like banners and scalloped edges. Awesome, 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 awesome. All of, I love these. I love these laser cuts. They're just, I don't know, you tell me. Have you come up with a good solution, a storage solution, or, or a way to work with them? Because I'll be honest, I've not found anything that has made me feel like I have come up with a solution. I thought this little plastic container was going to be it, and it has turned out to be not. So that's that. It, it's just a hair. It just needs... I'm going to bend them down in like that and hold them in there so that I can work with them. Anyway, that is my kit for Collection Obsession. I'm super tickled with it. Can't wait to dig in. And I will be sure to come back and share my creations along the way. Thank you so much for joining me. Come back and let me know. Do you have a solution for these laser cuts that actually fits the 12 inch, 12 inch length? I'll be loving to read the comments if you have found something. We'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.